For many years, Sierra Space has been working on a revolutionary project, the Dream Chaser space plane called Tenacity. This vehicle, which resembles a mini space shuttle, will soon join the ranks of the elite vehicles that can travel to and from low Earth orbit. But unlike the others, the Dream Chaser Tenacity has something that makes it more accessible and affordable. Let's find out what makes this Dream Chaser Tenacity different from previous space planes that have made history and explore the exciting missions it's set to embark on. Way back in 2004, before Sierra Space was even a thing, a group called Space Dev kicked off the Dream Chaser project. Fast forward to 2008, and Sierra Nevada Corporation, Sierra Space Parent, snagged both Space Dev and the Dream Chaser. Since then, it's been a journey of tests and improvements as the company pieced together this cosmic vehicle. Then, on November 2nd, the project hit a major high note. CEO Tom Weiss, in a tweet from Sierra Space, announced, we have arrived at a profound milestone in both our company's journey and our industry's future. Adding to the excitement, the inaugural vehicle, Tenacity, is gearing up to make its way to NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility in Ohio for environmental testing in the coming weeks. Now to the big question, what missions will this groundbreaking invention undertake? The Dream Chaser space plane fleet is a carefully crafted marvel designed to transport cargo and, in the future, crew to low Earth orbit (LEO). This versatile platform is all about customization, meeting the unique needs of both domestic and international customers, solidifying its role in global space operations. The ultimate goal? To better serve humanity on a global scale. And these are not just assumptions. Sierra Space has a NASA contract in hand to launch robotic resupply missions to the International Space Station ISS, using Dream Chaser. The exciting news is that Tenacity is poised to be the pioneer, the first of Sierra Space's space planes to embark on this journey, and it could happen sooner than we think. Tenacity will launch, aiming to dock with the ISS, bringing cargo and staying connected for a few months. After this cosmic pit stop, it'll bid farewell, re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, and attempt a runaway landing marking the completion of its first mission. Since NASA awarded Dream Chaser one of the CRS-2 contracts in January 2016, committing to a minimum of six resupply missions to the ISS, this initial mission serves as a demonstration to validate the vehicle's capabilities and operations. Success in this endeavor could pave the way for an increased frequency of Dream Chaser flights as Sierra Space fulfills its contracted missions with NASA. Tenacity's initial run comprises seven ISS cargo missions, presenting a unique feature shared with SpaceX's Dragon capsule, the ability to return experiments and hardware from the ISS to Earth. This capability sets Dream Chaser apart from other freighters like Northrop Grumman Cygnus and Russia's Progress vehicle, which burn up upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Looking ahead, robotic resupply missions are just the beginning for Dream Chaser. Sierra Space envisions launching humans aboard this vehicle, resembling a miniature version of NASA's space shuttle, opening new horizons for human space exploration. Now, if you're curious to know the specific launch date, here's the lowdown. The specific launch date for its maiden flight still holds a few uncertainties. Initially targeting December, the timeline has encountered delays, primarily due to setbacks in the launch vehicle, ULA's Vulcan. While the first Vulcan launch is set for Christmas Eve, December 24th, it won't be carrying Dream Chaser. The second Vulcan launch, featuring Tenacity, is contingent on the success of the first, with a potential time frame of January or February 2024 at the earliest. Tom Weiss, the CEO of Sierra Space, has affirmed the company's commitment to achieving the first launch of its cargo Dream Chaser vehicle, aiming for December. He expressed optimism about Dream Chaser being fully integrated with its launch vehicle within the December timeframe, allowing for a launch window extending into early February. This aligns with the necessary time for Sierra Space and NASA to conclude the final testing phases, paving the way for an eagerly anticipated journey into space. What sets Tenacity apart from other space planes? At its core, Dream Chaser has a design that's nothing short of exceptional. Every inch of this remarkable vehicle is a testament to its engineering excellence, seamlessly blending aesthetics with functionality. Dream Chaser's design isn't just about looks, it's about endurance too, as per Sierra Space. Leveraging cutting-edge technology, it can withstand temperatures exceeding 3,000 degrees during re-entry, yet it remains cool to touch just minutes after landing, which is no small engineering feat. 
The autonomous flight system of Dream Chaser is engineered for longevity, capable of handling a minimum of 15 space missions. Its sustainable propulsion and oxidizer fuel system also contribute to mitigating the environmental impact of its operations. While the last space plane launch was in 2011 with the space shuttle, Dream Chaser, represented by Tenacity, marks a departure from that era. It's not just a space plane, it's a multi-mission vehicle designed to cater to a variety of low Earth orbit LEO, needs. Customizable for both domestic and international customers, Dream Chaser offers flexibility in vehicle configuration, launch site, destination, landing site, duration, and various other variables, distinguishing itself from its predecessors. Sierra Space describes Tenacity as an unscrewed spiritual successor to the Space Shuttle, measuring 30 feet, 9 meters in length, approximately a quarter of the total length of the Space Shuttle orbiters. The pressurized volume of Tenacity, encompassing both the space plane and the cargo module, is 33 cubic meters. This design choice not only enhances sustainability and maneuverability, but also facilitates gentle 1.5G runway landings, making it ideal for transporting delicate cargo. Tenacity's adaptability shines through its compatibility with a diverse range of launch vehicles. It will be launched in stowed configuration with a 5-meter payload fairing providing increased flexibility by reducing ascent loads on the vehicle and safeguarding it from potential debris. In a significant milestone in 2017, Sierra Space conducted a test flight where Dream Chaser's hardware was put to the test during an autonomously conducted atmospheric flight. During the descent over the California desert, the Dream Chaser test vehicle autonomously deployed its landing gear, executing a flawless touchdown on the runway at NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center in Edwards, California. This successful demonstration showcased the unique lifting body design of the space plane, underlying its autonomous capabilities and paving the way for its future missions. Tenacity is equipped for in-space maneuvering using internally developed thrusters, featuring three distinct thrust modes. Additionally, Sierra Space has designed a supplementary cargo module named Shooting Star, affixed to the back of the space plane. This 15-foot transport and cargo vehicle enhances the capabilities of Dream Chaser, enabling the delivery of up to 12,000 pounds of both pressurized and unpressurized cargo to low Earth orbit. The heat shield of Dream Chaser has a sophisticated design, comprising thousands of unique individual tiles attached to each section of the space plane. The variation between black and white tiles serves as an additive to the outer glass coating, balancing heat absorption. Each tile is meticulously crafted with differences in size, shape, thickness, and density. Sierra Space has improved upon the challenges faced by the Space Shuttle, utilizing lessons learned and incorporating more innovative technology. Their engineers have updated the thermal protection system tiles from the NASA Shuttle program, employing modern manufacturing techniques to enhance strength and reduce costs, ensuring the efficiency and reliability of the Dream Chaser space plane. Indeed, the differences extend to the size of the tiles on the Dream Chaser, measuring 10 inches by 10 inches, compared to the 6 inches by 6 inches tiles on the shuttle. Not only are these tiles stronger and lighter than their shuttle counterparts, but they also meet all the Micro Metroid Orbital Debris MMOD, requirements. This ensures the safety of entry, descent, and runway landings for both crewed and cargo missions. These modifications, among others, are strategically implemented to enhance the reliability and ease of refurbishment of Dream Chaser's tiles. The larger, stronger, and lighter tiles represent a technological advancement that aligns with Sierra Space's commitment to innovation and the conceptual improvement of space plane technology. The preparation for Tenacity's upcoming physical testing extends beyond the vehicle itself. Sierra Space is actively engaged in training crews that will be on the International Space Station when the space plane arrives. Several NASA astronaut crews have visited Sierra Space facilities to undergo comprehensive training. This training covers a spectrum of topics, including understanding the intricacies of the vehicle, mastering rendezvous and proximity operations, familiarizing themselves with hardware, and honing skills in cargo transfer scenarios. These efforts show Sierra Space's commitment to ensuring seamless integration of Dream Chaser into ISS operations. Sierra Space's experts in the field take charge of this training, which involves both classroom sessions and practical exercises within a life-sized replica of Dream Chaser. This comprehensive training has been successfully conducted with several SpaceX crews scheduled for launch aboard Dragon 
who will later spend an extended period on the International Space Station. All these preparations are in anticipation of the return of space planes and the inaugural flight of Dream Chaser Tenacity. With the upcoming launch on the horizon, we're curious to hear your thoughts on the new space plane Tenacity. What are your expectations and impressions as we await this exciting milestone in space exploration?